Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. You can find us on YouTube at Joey143Jenny. So today I'm here just to show you uh, some of the fabrics that I've chosen for the Kathy Holden journal. Uh, basically what I wanted to do is to take some whites or off whites or what have you, vintage fabrics, and compile the journal. So make the journal with this and then add in the fabrics and papers and things like that into the journal. Uh, so I haven't really figured it all out yet. Um, my thought is, I've really been thinking about this, um, and I think what I have decided is to kind of go along the lines of, if any of you watched Rachel's um, Roxy's book of stitchery or something like that. I'll have to find it. And when I find it, I'll, I'll link it here as well. But anyways, what she did is a book and she kind of accordioned the pages so that you could still add your stitchery into it. And so basically you could add a stitchery here and then here and then here and then here and then here. And then you could just add pages as needed. And so I'm thinking along the lines of that. Now I can't remember how exactly she did it, so I need to go back myself and watch the video. So um, I'll find that video and then I'll I'll share it with you. Um, so yeah, so I wanna use some of these fabrics. I'm probably going to put, I've got some felt and some different kinds of um, batting in here, some wool and just different things. So I'll probably put that in between the layers um, so that as I'm stitching in some of the Kathy Holden fabric or I'm slow stitching or I'm uh, embroidering on it or what have you, I'm not going through onto the next side <clears throat> and leaving that kind of fresh for the next one, uh, for the next um, addition to the journal. So I have again gone back and forth onto how do I even wanna make this. I love the size of this book. And I want to say it's nine by 11 and I just really liked the size and decided I wanted to use it. Uh, this was also a contender. This was a wedding book and it had those straw like brads in here. You know, they're really long straw things. They hold the pages together and then it was tied with a with a ribbon and then as you flip, you know, you can continue to add. I thought about using this and using rings, but to be honest, I just don't like the look of rings, especially for fabric. I, I just didn't like that. I even thought about comprising the book like this and making it more like a spine, but I wasn't crazy about the width here. So I'm saving this for something else. We'll see what that ever becomes. And um, I'm hoping this camera doesn't fall. I've got it stacked on books here. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do is, this is an old book I bought at a garage sale for 50 cents. I've used the pages out of it or pulled the pages out. Um, I don't know if I'm what I'm going to do with the inside. I know that I am going to cover the outside. I don't even know how or with what. Uh, more than likely, of course, Kathy Holden-ish. And um, I'll add a spine. And then I'm going to add a spine thick enough for several uh, signatures, so to speak. So it would be several different... Um, of these accordions. So again, I want to watch Rachel's and um, on Roxy Creations and see how she did it, and it before I make this. I mean, I could obviously start adding things to these prior to adding it to the book, you know, so, but I am going to watch that. I just haven't gotten to it today yet. So that's, this is what I'm going to use unless based off of Rachel's video, I figure out something different but I think this is where I'm going. Okay, so these are the beautiful fabrics that I decided to use as my bases for the accordion. Um, I've, I love this little doily. You probably can't see it because I have uh, so many different whites, but it's two uh, kind of like cherubs, 
Um, so yeah, this was probably on a dresser or nightstand or something. And then just some vintage white that has a little bit of a variation to it. Probably can't see that. Um, tablecloth. This was off of uh, sheeting. Uh, this I've shown you before in my uh, lace journal. This is like a tarp, kind of a, a painter's tarp. Um, some more very buttery old. This is from an old pillowcase um, that I got at a garage sale or thrift store. And I just, you know how I love that buttery feeling. More tablecloth. Tablecloth. Uh, these I found were some, they all look the same, don't they? Probably. <laughs> these were some blocks that someone had cut to use in a quilt. It's very vintage. Um, it's kind of a creamy color and they didn't use it uh, or was in a thrift store. Here's some different, this is like a muslin and a cup, few of those. Uh, this is just another piece of fabric, uh, mainly cotton, almost, I want to say 100% cotton, it feels like. It's a little rougher, though. This is off of a tea towel. This is, I'm, this has a shimmer to it, so I feel like there's probably either some brushed cotton or some, uh, polyester. I didn't do a burn test or anything on it, so I don't know what it's made of, but I loved it, so I just left it. And same with this one. And then this is that old tablecloth I just showed you from my flea market finds. I definitely wanted to put that in there and have a little bit of this hanging out. <clears throat> so, and I did cut them or tore them very long so that, you know, uh, depending on what I wanted to do, I would have enough fabric for that. So that is as far as I have gotten and take it from me, just these decisions took long enough for me. Uh, as I mentioned in one of my other videos, I'm practicing at not being a perfectionist so that I just start things and not wait until I have everything in order. So, um, yeah, that's why I want to just go for it and not think too much about it. I did iron all of these. They're all freshly laundered and ironed, so they are going to be ready to go. And then what will I do with that journal once it's finished? If it will ever be finished, I hope it's never finished because that means that Kathy continues to create and create. Um, so uh, what I'll do with it is eventually... I mean, for sure, for me, it'll be a thrill to continue to look at and as it as it grows and grows. But um, it'll definitely be something that my children and grandchildren and Kathy's children and grandchildren and my sister Shelly and my brother Tim's children and grandchildren uh, hopefully will enjoy as well. So it'll just be kind of a documentation. Um, but what I also wanted to do today is do a little sharing of... My hankies so this is my hanky collection for the most part I do have some women's hankies that are you know I like I have a few Christmas ones that are in my Christmas uh, decoration tubs that are up in the attic and then I have some that are Valentine's as you saw in my Valentine's um, reveal I have some that I keep in that these are just ones that I just have and to be honest about it with the exception of those few hankies I bought the other day and showed you um, a few of oh, maybe a month ago and did it on my flea market finds uh, with the exception of those I haven't and I just stuck those in here I haven't been in here and looked at these um, I'm gonna say I bet for 10, 12 years. So I don't have any idea what's going on in here. But I wanted to get them out and just see and see if I need to reorganize them. And maybe it'll give me some ideas on what to do with them. If you have any ideas, I would love to see them. I know Pinterest is loaded with ideas. But for the most part, I haven't stitched them and I haven't cut them up. But as I go through them, I may decide to do some of that. So let's look. We'll look together. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, I made me some dandelion tea. Let me take a little zip. All right, I'm going to get that out there. Okay. All right, 
I'm just going to go through them and see what I have. And maybe if I can figure out a way, if need be, some type of an organization. They're very beautiful. All of them are very beautiful. And I tell you, my thought in the past has been when you need a handkerchief, the more beautiful, the better, because you're either suffering from a cold or allergies and you need, you know, some brightening up or you've had a sad situation or you're in extreme heat. But the the more beautiful, the better, because it just gives you a little bit of peace and comfort, I think. Um, I did share some of my handkerchiefs. Um, we had a community near us that was absolutely destroyed by a tornado. And I went with Convoy of Hope to this site to uh, hand out groceries and wa fresh water and, and uh, different things like that. Um, I also prayed with them and um, but I, what I did was I, I took handkerchiefs, these beautiful hand, handkerchiefs, and I laundered them. And I laundered them by hand, of course, um, dry and iron. I took those wrapped in little baggies and gave them to the women that came through to get things. I just wanted them to have, they had lost everything. I wanted them to have something beautiful to wipe their tears with. Lots of tears, tell you that. Many of them had, you know, lost their loved ones, so it was nice. So a handkerchief can be all kinds of things to different people. Um, it can be a nice surprise, too. Uh, find a beautiful one and give it to uh, a bride or at a wedding shower or a new mama. You know, I can remember being overwhelmed with tears, um, just having a baby, just so excited, so happy, just the, as a new mama, just the thought of this human being being part of me and, ugh, it would bring me to tears. So now this one, although it's very beautiful, it has some stains. I, it, I, I can't tell what the stains are. Um, but I'm going to set that aside because I think that would be one that I might applique, I might slow stitch or use it in a journal somehow. So I'll set that one aside. <clears throat> Here's another one. This one's non-distinct, more than likely a men's handkerchief. And this would be really lovely in a journal um, or a slow stitch. Uh, I may decide to even put that in the Kathy Holden journal. So I'm going to set that one aside too. All right, I need to get on it because uh, this, as many as I have, this video could last forever. <laughs> That's beautiful. So I don't know. I, I was going to say, oh, maybe what I'll do is I'll organize them. You know, I'll put florals here and do others there, but the majority of them are florals. So I don't know if I'll organize them by color or what. I love this one. Oh, it's so soft. Look how large it is. Isn't that nice? Uh, this is a sweet one. Um, little embroidered. These, you may remember, came in sets. Still has... Oops. Still has the All Linen Handmade in Madeira. Except decoration, it's all cotton. Product of York Street. I don't know. Um, that one's not my style either, so I think I'm going to put it over here and maybe use that in something. This one's very sweet. Also, if maybe um, you want to give a gift, maybe um, you know you know someone that's being baptized or something, or you want to give a little Easter gift, these would be so sweet. Can you imagine this in a little girl's purse? How delicate that is. Now this one's very 
discolored. It has some holes, has a few pen stains. It's been in someone's purse with a ballpoint pen, no doubt. I'm going to put that here too to use that. This one also feels like one of those that came with, you know, in a um, a box set where it would have the the yellow, it would have the pink, the blue, you know, and um, it was a nice set to give to someone. Isn't this beautiful? This looks hand done. Someone really took a lot of time with that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Beautiful. I love the colors of this one. It's almost a gray blue with these beautiful, bright pink flowers. Some of my favorite combinations are blue and pink or red and turquoise. Oh, I love it. This is also a very beautiful one. This one was probably one of those uh, box sets. You can just tell the fabric's a little bit different. It's very starched. Maybe I didn't launder this one. <laughs> it's very, very starched. Starched. And so it does have some discolorations. And um, I think this would also be one that I would use uh, pieces of. Here's another one of those that I believe is probably a men's handkerchief, possibly. I love how they do this where they take out so many of the strands and tie them off. I love that. A friend of mine's mother used to do that and uh, on tablecloths, no, no doubt. <laughs> And um, just the work, but she was so fast and it was absolutely beautiful. Um, okay, here's one. Gorgeous. This one has a little, a little bit of some spotting, but I don't feel like I want to cut that one up yet. We'll see. I mean, really, in reality, these have been in a box for 10 years, so um, I have thought fondly of remembering that I have them, but I haven't, you know, obviously done anything with them. And I just love looking at them. I'm glad to get them out today. It's a rainy day. You may have remember that yesterday, Joey and I did the whistle, the drainage whistle. Our backs are, well, my backs broke and he's very uncomfortable because he did the hauling for me. Uh, so he's resting. Um, so this is a great rainy day project. So this one's discolored and it's beautiful. Um, so that's going to be fun to put in a journal or in a, um, uh, to cut up and use for some slow stitching. Okay, let's, let's see what all these are. Okay, this one has a little applique. Very sweet. Look at that. Look at that. And this linen is wonderful, but I'm not going to keep that in my stash. I'm going to use that. Um, this is gorgeous, this white one. This might be a good one to put in the Kathy Holden as a background. What is this little, and there's a little bit of, little teeny tiny bit of staining on it. I don't know, sometimes I wonder if they had like a pin in them, like um, pinned them to their garment or something and that pin might have rusted if they stored it together. This one's very pretty. Here's another one to me that looks handmade. Look at that. This beautiful crocheted lace on there. Yeah, I think that one's handmade. That's so pretty. Those little grapes. This one's very, very pretty. Uh, but I do think because of the staining that I will use it in my journals or my crafts. I'll just put it that way, crafting. Here's one I think, oh, look at that. I think we had one similar to this, but oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow, that is beautiful. How that pops on that 
baby yellow. Okay, this is so delicate. This one I will probably use. Look at, you can see right through it. Look, you can see right through that. It's so thin. You talk about feeling like butter. Okay, I want to put that over there too. Here's another one that has a little stain, so I'll probably go ahead and take that out of the group. It's very fun. And this one has a little staining. So I am going to be able to pull some out and use them. I won't have to make the decision to you know, boldly on my own. I feel like the decision's made a little bit for me. Aren't, isn't that just beautiful, that color? Again, if you have some ideas, I thought about making some pendants, um, you know, little pin cushions, little this and that. So let me know what you think. Wow, look at that. And look how large that is. I also have used different ones in the past at table settings. So I'll probably do that at some point too. Now that I have them open and can see what I have. <clears throat> These little morning glories, sweet. This is a color combination I was saying that I really like. Oh yes, I do remember this one. I remember when I got this thinking, how could anyone let something so beautiful go? But more than likely it was due to an estate. It does have a little bit of uh, coming apart at, right here, but I just, I, I think I'm going to leave it in this collection and not disturb it. Um, so let me take a little sip here of the tea. <clears throat> if you were here, we would be having tea together. That would be fun. Here's another one with that beautiful color combination. Let's see where that one was. There was one similar, had a color combination like that, if I can find it. No, I don't see it. It had this beautiful um, burgundy with the roses. Here's this really sweet one. I can just see this on a spring day. Maybe somebody took it to a picnic to wipe their brow. So lovely. I imagine some of the women tucked one in their Bible on the way to church. Probably an extra one like I do. I tuck a tissue in my Bible and an extra one in case somebody next to me needs one. Look at this. Now that is beautiful. That would be so pretty on an autumn table. How pretty is this? Maybe what I'll do is make some digitals out of them. It'd be so sweet. This is fun. This reminds me of the one that I have. <laughs> For when I do anything outdoorsy, if I go horseback riding, which has I haven't done that in a long time. I used to um, like to go on the back of motorcycles. I would carry one. It was had this dark brown in it. Um, when we went hiking, I used to take that one. I don't know why, just the it seemed a little bit more outdoorsy. Isn't this beautiful? Look at how pretty that is. So many gorgeous ones. So you can see having a tea or um, having your ladies over, putting one of these at each of the settings. Especially if you were able to part with them <laughs> and they were able to take them home. It would be very fun. I'll have to think about that. Because it is very nice. Oh, I love this. I don't know if you can see the texture on that. I think I'm going to set that aside for the Kathy Holden background. 
one of the backgrounds on that. There's a little sweet one. Oh, it has some marks here, so let's move it over to use. It has some interesting chevrons or something like that on the side here. Very dainty, probably maybe a little girl's. Here's a little one, probably a little girl's sweet, sweet. Oh, I can remember having handkerchiefs and our little white gloves. That's very sweet. I think I'm going to set that out for the Kathy Holden book. I remember wearing white gloves to church on Easter. We would get an Easter hat, and I had this wonderful, I still have it, this wonderful white wicker purse oh I thought I was something else with that thing and my and my hat oh boy my little gloves here's another autumn one and um, I can remember when I was a little girl I was probably about five and I had chicken pox and uh, I had to wear my Sunday gloves to bed I hated that, but my mom didn't want me to scratch off all of the chicken pox. So here's one that is nondescript. Must be a man's. I'm not sure. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's so faded. I don't know if you can see any of that. But I'm going to move that over to my pile. It's amazingly faded. Okay. <laughs> Here's one nondescript. This almost looks like a napkin, which I think it is. It feels like it. it's a little bit thicker. I'm going to move that over. I'll probably move this one over just because it does have some staining on it, but isn't it the sweetest? Won't that be so cute in a, a journal or a sewing project? And those little paisley shapes will be fun to sew around. This one has that feel of um, the kind that was in a was in a box kit. It's very starchy. Uh, it has gold on it. I don't know if you can see that, and I'm going to move that over. It's it's very discolored uh, for the white, so I'm going to move that over. This one probably came also from a boxed uh, set. It's very fun. It does have a little bit of a stain here, but I think I'm going to keep it because it's so big and it would make a nice place setting if I decide to, you know, use these um, for place settings. So it's nice and large. And I use a lot of linens when I entertain, a lot of linens, and I overlap them. So, an example, I have lots and lots of linens that have holes in them. And it doesn't bother me at all because I'm all overlap like this. And no one's the wiser. And I don't mind. I don't mind that wear and tear because uh, it's history. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't mind it at all. Okay. Here's a beautiful one. Oh, and it has some holes in it, so I'm going to move it over. And won't that be a nice surprise in someone's journal to have part of that red in there? Now, this one I think would be a... Boy, I don't know if it would be a men's or a little boy's or just a very fashionable woman. I don't know. It has applique on it. Those are appliqued, delicately appliqued. Look at that. I'm going to set that one aside. Um, just, you know, I'm starting a new pile. <laughs> and I may have some others that are a little bit older like that. Look how pretty that one is. Here's another one that's a little bit bold. Gorgeous, though. Absolutely gorgeous. Hard to tell which direction. Okay, there's a heart. Heart and lips. 
Okay, let's put that over there. There's another one. Now, see, those two look so pretty together. Um, based off of the trim on the side, I would say those came in their own little box set, too. And look how pretty this one is. Another fall one. And we did have another, we had that brown one that was similar to this. So maybe that was a set at one, you know, at one point. I'll have to find that. Look how pretty this one is. Um, this is sewn like a handkerchief. But to be honest, I think I've seen some napkins like this. So I don't know, it may be a napkin. This one's very pretty and very, very delicate. Very fine. Here's another white one. I'm gonna take out of the bunch and use it. It again has this kind of where they pulled out the strands and here you can see they've pulled together different designs to make that. Okay, now this one, I don't know the practicality of this. It's a nylon. So this may have just been for decor, maybe in a pocket. Um, maybe um, sometimes they would put it on their uh, chest, their, the bodice um, with a flower. So that may be what that one's for. It's very pretty. Here's another one, same thing. I cannot imagine um, wiping, you know, a little perspiration off or blotting a tear with that. The sun's coming in and out of the window. You can probably see. It'll be nice to have a little sunshine after all that rain this morning. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Oh, that is so pretty. Something I've noticed is um, like yellow is not, yellow on its own is not typically one that I have had, you know, a lot of. You can see I have a lot of very floral, lots of reds. Now this one also has its tag. So that's pretty neat. I'm going to put it over here with the tag so I can be careful with that tag. Uh-oh, this one has some holes. Here comes our train. So I'm going to pull that one aside. That one's going to be gorgeous to slow stitch into something. Here's another one. This one's very delicate. also has holes, so I'll move it aside. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Maybe I won't move it aside because the whole, I think I can cover that up if I use it on a table. It reminds me a little bit of water, or not watercolor, paint by number. Oh, if you hear some other noise like an airplane's landing, it's just, um, I'm doing laundry and it's the washer spinning. So here is, I'm going to put this one up here too because it's a little bit more bold. Here's another fall. Very, very pretty. This one is a little bit more comical, so I'm wondering if maybe it was a child's. Speaking of child's, look at this. This again looks handmade, where they did the tying off. I'm not sure what that's called. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. And then the crochet around. Oh. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Sweet. Okay, we had another one with these very soft colors on this muted kind of taupey grayish purple color. Look at this one. Wow. Isn't that wonderful? Wouldn't that be pretty on a table? Yeah, laundry's done. That's nice. What is that little? It's weird. 
It's just a little white spot, not like bleach or anything, just a white spot. Interesting. This is very delicate, very sweet. Oh, look at this. Another one. Isn't that pretty? Wow. I wonder if I have any more of those. Well, there's the train. And I'm going to take that out. It is a little rough, but boy, won't it look pretty using some of these bits. <clears throat> All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, in here I also, it looks like I have some scarves. So I will put a different pile for the scarves. Make it over here. Oh, and here's a doily with an H. Maybe I will put that in my Kathy Holden book. There. Oh, here's one that has a little, oh! A C. Let's put that in the Kathy Holden. I think I, I wonder if I saved these two to make, make her something. Oh, I'm glad I found those. It's meant to be, isn't it? An N. I know a little someone with an N. I'll save that out. And an E. Perfect. Here's another scarf. That's beautiful too. I love to decorate the tables with scarves on top of linens. Those will be nice. <laughs> Christmas glitter. Interesting. It's very pretty. I think I'll put that probably in the Kathy Holden to add to it. Another scarf. Very nice and bold. Um, I don't know if any of you are old enough to remember putting your a scarf on your head, but we did as kids, and um, all these monograms. We did as kid when we were little, we had scarves on our heads, and when my um, oldest daughter was little, I used to put a scarf on her head. She'd go out. Probably the only parent that did that at the time, because <laughs> I think that was probably a little bit more old-fashioned. Here's one that has a little teeny dot out of it. I think I'm going to save it because I think I could cover that if I used it. Here's a beautiful one. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the Kathy Holden pile. I might not use them all. Um, here's another one I'll put in the Kathy Holden. I might not use them all, but at least they'll be there. Um, it looks like I did some sorting at some point. We're almost done here. Here's another one of those nylon ones with the gold on it. It's very interesting to me. Here's a Hawaii. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. Here's a scarf. What is happening with this? It almost looks like yeah, you would use that as a scarf. It's very pretty. It's um, silk. And I think it has, a, it has a pretty nice tear. It's very fragile. I think I'm gonna move that over to the use pile. Use it. Um, I do have a few children's. That's sweet. There's one in a Ziploc. Let's see what that is. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. And then I have some more in a Ziploc. These all, oh wait, here's one. These all, the other ones all look to be um, Christmas. This one is a department store. Looks like it was, maybe they gave this out as maybe a grand opening or something to the women, or maybe it was one of the uh, with purchase type of thing, but it it's pretty neat. 
tells all about this department store. It's pretty fun. Uh, okay, this looks like a little Valentine one. This could go in my Valentine. Okay, we're almost to time. Oops, sorry. We're almost to run out of time, so I better put a move on. Christmas. Christmas. These could all be moved to my Christmas stash. Christmas. Oh, this is pretty. I love poinsettias. I just think they're so fun and vibrant. And then another Christmas. So that's it. This one's weird. Can't tell. Yeah, it goes this way. So that's it, everybody. Thanks for going through my stash with me with my hankies, handkerchiefs. And um, I did dwindle it down maybe by a quarter of them. Um, I'm going to put these back in their in their uh, home, in their little bucket, and uh, I'll look for ways to use them. And I'll definitely share it with you, whatever I find. But I'm on a mission to get that Kathy Holden book started. I want to start on that journal, and I want to start organizing my Kathy Holden fabrics. So uh, I hope you'll join me. Thanks a lot for subscribing and sharing our channel. We really appreciate all of you. Blessings to everyone, and have a great day.